Hello, and welcome to this youth session to celebrate World Youth Skills Day. Joining me today is the Executive Director of UNICEF, Henrietta Four, and Bob Moritz, the Global Chairman of PwC, Rafiq Amrani from Algeria, Ulises Brengi from Argentina, and Mariam Elgoni from South Africa. ED4, please tell us what lessons you have learned during your career that you think are applicable to the future of work, even though we know it's changing rapidly. So there are lots of lessons, but let me just mention a couple. One is that we really need to be flexible. If this time of COVID has taught us anything, it's that you need to adapt to the world as it is around you and the world is changing. And so you have to change with it. So one is flexibility. The second one is be a good problem solver. Whatever the issue is, take it on and find solutions. And if you look for solutions, you will create them. I'm feeling inspired already and we just started. So Bob, over to you. Given your extensive experience in this field, which skills will youth need to find jobs and become successful entrepreneurs in the work of the future? The skills that are really important is first and foremost to really challenge the status quo. It's the amount of innovation and entrepreneurship that's gonna come out of that. Second is the ability to drive change. You don't want to rest on the past. You really want to drive change, no matter where you may sit at a school, uh, looking for employment, or even while employed as you look ahead. And that goes to the professional side of the equation, but I'm going to say it goes to the personal side as well in terms of the amount of change that's needed in a local community, city, country, or otherwise at a more societal level. And each one of us has that role and responsibility going forward. And now I wonder if you would like to ask our youth participants any questions. What can educators do differently? And separately from that, what can the business community do differently to then help the youth of the world access, leverage, and take advantage of the skills and the needed skills and the adoption of those skills as they think about applying them to themselves? The first thing to do with educators is to make them aware that the uh, educational curricula is outdated and we are living in the 21st century skills that require new skills. So we need to modernize the education. So first thing is just to make educators aware of the problem and also aware of the skills that we really need. What, what should businesses do is communicate more with, with the educators. Uh, what skills they see lacking in their new recruits. Um, in that way, they can build a more harmonious uh, system. As we come out of the pandemic, we are going to have to have a new way of operating, uh, a new normal, a next normal, uh, a way that we reimagine our future. So how would you like to reimagine getting an education and getting skills so that there are opportunities for everyone? What does that look like? I would say two things. First, we have to stop looking at skills as if they were only complex and high level academic knowledge and more as human values. You don't need a title to say that you're a good leader. We have to look at the human value of, of the skills. And then, and this is maybe more personal, um, I hope that this crisis will take us into a new and more responsible economy, not only based on making a profit. I look forward to a future where every young person who has a dream will never feel that their dream is limited because of their circumstances. So you could want anything in the world and it doesn't matter if you're, you know, the color of your skin, your gender, your, your sexual identity, that there's no skill that is unreachable because of who you are or where you are. COVID-19 and, and the pandemic that we're all in right now has actually created a huge challenge. Um, we use the words, we should pause, and repair the damage that's been done, rethink what we're doing and why, reconfigure what we do and how we do it, and restart. Very inspiring. And I know that you and I share a hope that our world will now invest in the dreams and futures of young people, their education and their skills. Uh, we are hoping that every young person have access to a modern education one that's fit for the 21st century in this fourth industrial revolution, and that they will learn some skills for livelihood. 
Now, this is a question for everyone. What do you think is the number one skill that young people are going to need for a successful future? So for me, problem solving. Adaptability. Critical thinking. Communication. Resilience. So with that, I'll bid you all goodbye. Thank you so much.